This kit runs the lightweight M2M client that's developed by the Zephyr project. And we can see that the device starts downloading the firmware. All of the steps are fully completed. And this whole firmware image process took two minutes and 37 seconds. Hi, and welcome to a new video. My name is Lawrence, and in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to remotely update the firmware of your IoT devices using a process that's defined by the lightweight M2M specifications. So for doing so, I'm using the Thingy91 development kit by, developed by Nordic. And this kit runs the lightweight M2M client that's developed by the Zephyr project. And this device is connected to AV Systems Coyote IoT device management platform. And this is the platform that we are using to initiate the firmware update. And the Coyote platform looks something like this. So you can see that the device is registered and that's last seen a couple of seconds ago. And if we go to the data model, then we can see what device functionality is implemented. So it supports a couple of sensors like temperature, humidity, and it also contains the firmware update object. And this object supports the firmware update process that's defined by the lightweight M2M specifications. So let's get started with the firmware update. I'm going to connect the Thingy91 to my laptop and it allows us to look at the device logs throughout the firmware update. So I created a new firmware image that add device functionality to the device. And specifically, I'm going to add the accelerometer object. So let's get started. So I click at the firmware update image and um, click the button update firmware. I am selecting the um, firmware image that I prepared already and I'm selecting the update.binary file. Optionally, I can give it a name, like this, and I'm going next. So there are two ways of updating the firmware. You can use the pull or the push method. So if you use the pull method, then you are sending the address to the device, which it can use to pull the firmware image. And if we use the push method, then we're directly pushing the firmware image to the device. So for this example, we're using the push method. And this is all. So we're gonna click okay. And now we can see that the device is preparing the updates. So there are four different steps defined. Preparing the updates, transferring the package, executing the update, and some final cleanup. Throughout this process, we can also monitor the device logs and we can see that the device starts downloading the firmware right away. So here we can see that the device image is fully downloaded, which was in total 330 kilobytes in size. So we are waiting until the device uh, reboots and starts activating its new firmware image. And I think that's happening right now. So you see that it's booting um, the Zephyr operating system. Um, it's initia initializing the modem. And if we scroll down a bit, then we see that the client is connected to the server. And if we go back to the Coyote device management portal, then we can see that all of the steps are fully completed. You can even open it up to see all of the sub tasks that it went through. And this whole firmware image process took two minutes and 37 seconds. And you can also see the success tag added to the update. So now let's have a look if actually the new functionality is being added to the device. So before there was no accelerometer data present. So let's see if anything was added now. We might need to refresh the page and there we see it. So we see the accelerometer data being shown here, including the X, Y, and Z values. 
So this means that the firmware update process was successful and we can also open up the firmware update um, object and here we can see that the update result is changed has changed to one and that means that the firmware update was executed successfully. So we managed to update the firmware of our device by following the process defined by the lightweight m 2 m specifications. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Lawrence and I'm wishing you all the best with updating the firmware of your IoT devices.